Hello there, this is, uh, I'm George Orstrom and this is Jeannie Perrin and uh, we're co-chairs of the Piedmont Environmental Council and we welcome you to our virtual event. We're having a virtual auction as part of it and also a paddle raise to uh, really help, help get things going. So thank you very much. During this time of pandemic, we're finding other ways to get, stay connected. So I, we hope you'll enjoy this virtual event and bid heavily on our auction and our paddle raise and we thank you for your continuing support. Because the support you give us really helps us support the rural economies that we're all striving to keep going in these times. And so thank you very much. And uh, we hope you have a great time. And we hope to see you soon at a real event. So thank you. Hi, this is Barb Rue. My husband David and I are pleased to be hosting the 2021 PEC Gala at St. Bride's Farm in Upperville, Virginia. We were very pleased when the organizers called to see if we would open our home and our sculpture garden for this important event. The chairs, Jeannie Perrin and George Orgstrom, along with their board, have been working hard to make this a memorable evening for all of you. Please join us on October 2nd, 2021 to celebrate the PEC and all the wonderful work they do. Thank you again for joining the Piedmont Environmental Council for our virtual auction, which raises resources for us to continue our work with you and with the communities of the Piedmont to make this a better place. Since March, that's never been more important. Faced with the dual challenges of the COVID-19 pandemic and our growing consciousness of the social inequalities and systemic racism that exists in our society, our work to be inclusive to make sure that clean water, good food, public access to open space, and simply the enjoyment of this beautiful place is available to all, both our members of our community and, and all visitors. Uh, our work together has never been so critical. On behalf of the entire organization, I wanna thank the Ruse. I wanna thank our co-chairs, Jeannie Perrin and George Orstrom. I wanna thank the ball committee, especially Gertrude Heckel and, and the incredible group of volunteers that work with Jeannie and, and Gertrude to put on great events year after year. 50 years ago, a great group of, of uh, leaders, uh, many of whom have family that are still involved with the Piedmont Environmental Council of the day, set out with a simple goal, to protect the rural economy, the history, the beauty, and the natural resources of the region just west of the growing Washington metropolitan area, they had a simple goal, which was to be intentional about trying to help their communities adjust to the change that they knew was coming. The results 50 years later are astounding. Thousands of families in this region have worked to permanently protect the conservation values that we cherish. Beginning in March, the Piedmont Environmental Council increased its focus in four areas to address the challenges of the moment. The first area was to make sure that in a time when the process of participating in our communities has changed, that we were making you, our members, and the broader community aware of the decisions that government was making about land use, about conservation, about infrastructure, decisions that have always been important in terms of the future of our region. 
The second thing we've worked on is making sure that the food supply chain that is available from local producers can serve the needs of you as consumers, but as important or more important, those in our community who are food insecure and need our support. We recognized that we had producers producing great food who needed better access to markets. And the breakdown in the national food chain that occurred because of the pandemic brought the benefits of our local food system to the, to the forefront. PEC has been focused on developing the potential of the Gilbert's Corner Market. We're proud that that is now providing an outlet for a large collection of local producers in the Loudoun Valley and, and surrounding areas. We're also proud of the work of our community farm at Roundabout Meadows, which has tripled its production to meet the needs of Loudoun hunger relief. But we're also excited that we've been able to bring attention to two new areas. Um, the fact that local dairy doesn't have a direct outlet in meeting the needs of school children and families that uh, deserve a, a good source of dairy. And increasingly, the need to find ways to get the cattle that we grow so well on the, on the pastures of the Piedmont uh, to local markets and to the local food system. The third area that we've been focused on uh, during this period is the bigger challenge of making sure that our conservation programs continue and that they become increasingly accessible to all members of our community. In recent years, we've been seeing an acceleration in the rate of conservation. And surprisingly, over the last six months, interest in conservation has grown and it's never been greater. We've never seen more people want to take advantage of conservation and restoration opportunities. And we're so excited to be able to continue to provide those, those programs. Another challenge that has developed during the pandemic is making sure that everyone in our community has access to the outdoors. I know all of you understand the importance of being able to get outdoors. I know it's important to me every day to take a walk in the woods with my dog get a sense of the, the weather that day, to enjoy nature, to see wildlife. It just makes everything else go better. In our work to make sure that all of our community has access to that same experience uh, continues to be a core function of PEC in an area of increasing focus. Thank you again for joining the Piedmont Environmental Council's virtual auction. You give me a sense of hope. It's that sense of hope for a better future that allows us to meet the challenges of the present, to think about the opportunities of the future, and to make the investment now to make this the great place that it can be. We have a saying at PEC, it is that it's not beautiful by accident. We have intentionally worked together to make this a better place. And that sense of uh, collaborative work has never been more important. The pandemic, the need to address systemic racism and inequality is going to require all of us working together to find the best possible solutions. And tonight you can help by creating the resources for some of those things to move forward. Two years ago, your support made the dream of the community farm at Roundabout Meadows a reality. Last year, your contributions helped us build out and revitalize Gilbert's Market. And thank goodness we did. It's never been more valuable to the community. Thanks again for your support. Thank you for participating. And we hope to see you again soon in person. Hello, my name is Lynn Wiley, and I am the chairman of the Development Committee for the PEC. Although we could not be together in person this year, we are looking forward to celebrating with you at St. Bride's in 2021. I would like to invite you to bid on the experience of a lifetime, a trail ride at St. Bride's. Barbara and David Rue are building one of the most important outdoor sculpture collections in North America and possibly the world. 
Over 40 pieces of world-class art are exhibited here. You and your friends will enjoy the amazing vistas and trail rides of St. Brides, and you will learn more about each of the works, the creators, and the stories behind them. At the end of the day, you will enjoy a delicious meal with David and Barbara Roo, and more stories about art at St. Brides. We have over 25 fabulous items in our auction, too many of them to name them all. By bidding on them generously, you support PEC and our mission, which is more important than ever. Additionally, we ask you to raise your virtual paddle by making a cash gift through our virtual fundraiser in support of strengthening local food systems in our region. Thanks to our dedicated and caring supporters, we have been able to supply 1,500 gallons of milk across our region. Also this year, PEC tripled production at the community farm to address the growing need and demand for services and our partner organization, Loudoun Hunger Relief. You can help continue these efforts as long as they are needed. Thank you again for participating in our virtual auction. We look forward to seeing you in person at St. Bride's on October the 2nd, 2021. So save that date, mark it on your calendar.